Christ, King of endless glory. Christ, to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we heard from the prophet Daniel. The prophet Daniel is one of the most uh, significant books of the Old Testament. Uh, someday I'm going to do a, a Bible study for the parish on the book of Daniel. There's a lot of really uh, interesting stories that are told in it, but also uh, it was extremely significant for the days of Jesus. As you guys all know, right, because I've said this uh, many times, right, of all the prophets of the Old Testament, they all said different things about the coming of the Messiah, but it was only Daniel who gave a timeline for when the Messiah would come, and it was 70 weeks of years, or 490 years. And it's kind of interesting how uh, it is prophesied to him. So the angel Gabriel is the one who appears to Daniel, telling him this. And it happens here in chapter 9. We didn't hear from this particular section today. We basically heard about the lead-up to what happens. But as the angel Gabriel, who appears to Daniel... That's why Gabriel is so significant. So when uh, the angel Gabriel appears to Zechariah and to Mary, right? one of the striking lines in the New Testament is uh, when he appears to Zechariah saying how his wife would give birth, right? and Zechariah questions. And angel Gabriel's response is, I am Gabriel. Right? He's referencing back to this prophecy of Daniel. He's saying that when I appeared to Daniel, 490 years ago, right? I told him the timeline, and now here I am, because the time is at hand. Something that's interesting about this 490 years is that it was not an arbitrary number. Uh, so Daniel takes place, uh, Daniel is basically living in Babylon, as the people of Israel are in exile. So the exile is what most of the Old Testament is actually written about. Basically, all the prophets, right, they all pretty much write about the exile. Some of them write about it uh, just before the exile happened. Some of them write during and after. And what the exile was is when 587 B.C., Jerusalem was taken over, the temple was destroyed, and everybody was carried off into exile. This is the most dramatic event of the Old Testament. And even though many of us were much more familiar with things that happened earlier on in Israel's history, most of the Old Testament is actually talking about this time of the exile. And one of the things that was being wrestled with when the people were in exile is they were wondering why God was punishing them in this way. After all, they were in Babylon, and the people of Babylon were basically mocking them because they heard about the stories of Moses and of David, and about the God of Israel. And yet here they were as slaves in a foreign land. So the Babylonians were mocking them, saying, where is your God now? And so the people of Israel were questioning, why is this happening? And so many of the prophets explain why it happened. It happened because the people of Israel had become unfaithful to God. And so they were being punished for their lack of fidelity. And this is something that was actually foretold in the book of Deuteronomy. Moses, uh, you might recall, he had the, remember we heard about last week where he had the people stand on the two mountaintops, right? And six of the tribes were standing on Mount Gerizim, and they represented the blessings of the covenant if the people were faithful. And then the other people stood on Mount Ebal, right? And they were representative of the curses, that would come down upon the people of Israel if they were unfaithful to the covenant. 
And one of those curses was that they would lose everything and they would be taken off into a foreign land as exiles. So that's what the, the prophets explained to the people, why they were being carried into exile. Now, specifically Daniel, how he relates to this, is he says that the number 490 is a specific number. He says that 490 years basically was the amount of time that had elapsed since the giving of the law with Moses up until the time that they lost everything. Basically, for 490 years, the people had the covenant and they were unfaithful to it. And so therefore, to give them a punishment that fit the crime, God told the people of Israel that they would have to endure exile for 490 years in order to learn their lesson. This also might be, uh, you might remember in the Gospels when uh, Peter asked Jesus, he says, how many times should I forgive my brother? In some translations, they say 77 times, but I think a more accurate translation is 70 times, seven times, which is 490 times. When Peter is asking Jesus how many times he should forgive his brother, Jesus is basically hearkening his mind back. Remember when for 490 years, my people disobeyed me. And finally, after 490 years, I have welcomed them back into my presence. So likewise, you need to learn to be merciful and to forgive, just as God has forgiven his people. And so there's all these different connections that are very interesting here. And so in this book of Daniel, what we are hearing from this morning and the takeaway is that all of us should be quick to forgive quick to be merciful, and we should not be quick to judgment, and we should especially not be quick to question God. Sometimes he tests us and challenges us, but it is for our own good. Sometimes we need to learn our lessons. Sometimes we need to learn to be stronger and more merciful. And so many of the trials that God places in front of us are precisely to that end.